can't even talk to me. I hear prophetess Rihanna. <laughs> work, work, work. <laughs> hey, I saw poo poo. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on. All out of war, all out of war, on. Make sure you're wearing your SPF every day. 986 pictures. Oh, you know, you know, you know. You <laughs> prophetic work the work I do is more anointed than the word I get God doesn't want to just see me be able to receive a word and just pray and believe God says work I hear prophetess Rihanna work 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 work, work. when you see me work 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 I mean I'm gonna get good here. like I see them. Prophetess Rihanna. <laughs> and if the church doesn't lose their lazy faith, I can't. We will miss harvest time. See, y'all, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm doing this so y'all can get it. See, <laughs> so, time, work, work. Come on. then what? Heart. Oh, Jesus. This is the principle that will produce in your life over and over and over and over as long as the earth will remain. This will never cease. So what I decided is that I would be a serial sower. Mm. Y'all heard of serial killers. My wife Jesus. be watching all these crazy, <laughs> like, this woman, she was the bank teller, and then she just killed 58 people. Like, what? <laughs> this point came because of what my wife watches when I go to sleep, so oh this is God. what happened. You talk about serial killers and serial cheaters? Jesus. Have you met any serial sowers? Come on. My God. Somebody that's so repetitive in generosity? Jesus. <laughs> Somebody that just, wherever I'm at, it don't matter what you're going through. I don't sow because of what you look like. I sow because I'm a cereal sower. I'm a, I got God faith like a farmer. Sower. People will be like, well, do they really need it? It don't matter if you need it. I know when I plant it. Come on. It don't matter what it looks Come like. On. It don't matter if they already got it. Uh, some of y'all so broke, you only sow where Jesus. there's a need. Come on. Whoa. I sow where I'm going. Mm. I saw where there's a need and I saw where I'm going. So, that, well, they don't need that, but they got it. So, oh. I want to sow in good ground. I... Somebody say, I'm a cereal sower. And you just lied, many of you. you many of you just lied. <laughs> only cereal you eat are Fruit Loops, and the uh -huh. only sowing you do is to close. But what I want to give you an invitation to. To become somebody who's a serial sower. God blesses me. The automatic reaction is to sow. Jesus. When God blessed me with the platform on social media that he gave me, I automatically started sowing my platform into people who did not have that platform. 
the first book I ever put out, Relationship Goals, the day my book come out came out, God said, what you about to post about? Mm. My book. He said, no, no, you're a serial seller. Find somebody else's book that comes out today and post about that first. And there's another pastor in North Carolina named Pastor Darren, Darren Gray, who also pastors a church called Transformation Church. And he had a book coming out the same day. How ironic. <laughs> and if you go back, my first post on my first book was not about what God had given me. It was to sow into somebody else. How did crazy faith? become a New York Times bestseller, nobody barely ever in book world, what they tell me, gets two consecutive New York Times bestsellers. Nobody can convince me. I didn't write a better book. It's good. But it ain't because it's better. It's because when I had the opportunity on the first one, I, everybody say so. And all this is is the harvest. <sighs> Write this point down. Consecutive sowing produces consecutive harvest. Let's put this table. Let's re replace this table. Mind you, I need, to, I need to wash my couch. I bought, <laughs> I bought a what you call it, carpet cleaner thing, majiggy. I never put it together. It is time. There are definitely some stains on the couch. Nothing that's visible to the eye, like standing far away. But I just know where they. I know where they are, so I can look and see them. But got a rug here, which does make a difference. And then I'm gonna change out this table to the black one. So let's see how this looks. Okay. Wait up, stay and pray up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures. Trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen. Soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Ooh. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be And live my life off screen Taking time out to be And live my life hey. Taking just don't do And live my life Don't take it personal just building, it's my season, lay foundation, make a name for generations, please and make a, and take a break or a little vacation and chasing blues away, hey, hey. you always posting a pictures, trying to I definitely like how this looks a lot better, love how this living room looks a whole lot better, so I'm selling this, I need someone to come get it. <laughs> I'll make me an offer and buy it and then i have these black and silver bar stools that are gonna go i'm now doing the white the neutrals the gold accents i love these updates i gotta go to home goods and get a picture a painting a canvas that i saw i'm sure they still have it gotta get that and yeah we are making our way i want to get table linens but i'm not like sure not like grandma linens but maybe like some lap napkins you know what they call them lap i don't know whatever i kind of wish i had brass or gold silverware but that 
doesn't matter. That's not that important. I need to clean the couch, but I'm not ready to take on that job today. That's going to take too long and I have things to do and it's almost two o'clock. Like two o'clock is my sign off time. <laughs> time is flying by already. I didn't put my wig on though, so I'm proud of myself for that. Hello. Yo, yo. I just took a shower and I'm going to do my skincare and go film today. I don't know. I'm having a late start to the day today because I almost, I was like, first of all, just having a morning, right? And then I almost didn't want to film, but I need to film in order to stay on schedule. So here I am, right? It is 12 o'clock. And that's late because 2 o'clock is my cutoff time for working. Ideally, by 2, I have... This is the first beauty facial radiance pads to exfoliate my skin. Ideally, I have already finished working by 2, but I'm getting to start late today which means that I'm not going to be able to film as many things as I would like to film <laughs> in this two hours. Because my thing is, I really like to multitask. So if I've done my makeup, then it's a great time to film other pieces of content, whether sponsored or organic, because otherwise it's a little bit of a waste of makeup, a waste of me doing my face. So I'm going to do my face in a video. I'm doing a story time video hilarious one right but then it would be does it behoove me I don't know how to use that word I gotta look it up <laughs> but it would be smart to do maybe two more videos of some sort with my face done but I do have a photo shoot today it's at home so I am gonna get two uses out of the face that I'm gonna do so I, I suppose it's not that bad but still I would have liked to film two more YouTube videos is what I'm trying to say. This thing is very saturated. That that cotton pad is still wet. You can use my cold minute down downstairs on firstaybeauty.com to save some money. So yeah, that, that's what's going on there. Eye cream, JLo Beauty, that first take. I really just want to go to sleep. I got my wax yesterday and I had to reschedule twice so I was over and I had way more hair than I would have liked or than I really should have when it's time for a wax so oh mm, 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 baby girl I mean it already hurts every time but this one I don't know if it's because it I I there was such a big gap in between my last session that it was I mean it was painful we were talking the whole time though she and I talk the whole time JLo Beauty that that glow serum so that helps to distract because it's only 10 minutes. I mean, the appointment is a 15 minute appointment, but this time it was just, we did it all in 10 minutes, really fast. So I be trying to catch up with her, like what she been and what's going on with you. It's so funny. She doesn't even know what I do for work. <laughs> so one day, I didn't realize that, but I've gone to her maybe 10 times now, eight times now. And one day I had gone in and I had finished filming. So I was all done up, which I normally am not. It just didn't dawn on me. So she was like, where are you going today? I was like, no way. I'm going to go wash this off when I get home and go to bed. And she's like, what? She didn't get it. And I'm like, yeah, girl. I, don't. I was just filming. She's like, filming what? And I was like, oh, we've been up in here talking for 15 minutes and I've never told you what I do. So funny. So anyway, she's really sweet. <sighs> all right. So face Trying to figure out what, what moisturizer I want to use. I just did a serum. I'm waiting on my prescription refill from Curology. I used to get my medication, my rosacea medication. I used to get it from my dermatologist, but I realized that it's a lot cheaper with Curology. I used to pay, I think like 80, is it 80, 60, something like that for one refill, one container. Whereas with Curology, it's like 40 or 35, something like that. I'm like, mm -hmm. let me go ahead and do this chirology, you know what I'm saying? And go find somewhere to go and sit down. What am I looking for? A moisturizer. I have a set of skincare here in the at the sink. And then I have another set in the closet because sometimes I'm not going to stand here and do my skincare if I'm not filming anything or sitting down. I just do it in the closet really fast. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm trying to find a moisturizer that I have here. I am going to use this Shiseido SPF stick because this is so good. Okay, let me just take this. This is what I have right here. Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50. 
and I was gonna watch something, but I'm done. No need to go turn anything on. I need to take some more of this, that, that wasn't enough. Make sure you're wearing your SPF every day. And even if you're inside. And then of course, make sure you're taking an ample amount. That was not enough. Two fingers, but with the way this is, what is this? Front door. Who's in my front door? Oh, UPS. They be coming in budget trucks. I'd be like, what happened? Y'all got a shortage? I took some more. Okay. And this is an SPF and moisturizer in one, actually. So I'm not gonna use Shiseido. But I'll put I'll put another moisturizer here as an option so that I can use the Shiseido one. I just like to have options, you know? But here we are. Blending in. I tried a moisturizer, I tried an SPF on camera in one of my makeup videos. I forget the one. I'm sure you've seen it if you watch all of my videos, which if you do, thank you for that, you know? And <laughs> it was mad white, but you know, it came together at the end. So this one's got a little bit of whiteness, but it does end up absorbing into the skin very nicely. It leaves a dewy finish, which I love, which I definitely love. So yeah, I'm going to go prep my edges for my wig, putting the rest of my hands, prep my edges for my wig, put on my fragrance, put on a top, and then go sit down and film. Right now I'm looking through some images that I shot a while ago. I'd be forgetting that I had these images on my computer and I look at it in an enlarged fashion like this. You're not going to see it the best way because you're at an angle but it looks a lot better just on the computer purely. I do not edit my pictures anymore. I do not. I haven't edited my pictures in years because my camera shoots so well. The Canon 90D for, shoots in 4K. It's fantastic. The lens I have is, I have three lenses. The main lens that I use is the 35 f 1.4. It is phenomenal. I do not feel the need to edit anything. So these are straight from the computer and then I upload them. It, it makes my life a lot easier. Editing is irritating to me, okay? So I don't have time for that. So what I try to do is make sure that my settings on the computer are where I want them to be. So now I'm just eliminating images that I don't want. I After every video that I do, I take like 60 pictures. I mean, I take a lot of pictures and then I go through and look and see what I want and I delete. I make minimal shifts in my body so that, because you never know which, like which turn <laughs> I'm going to want. So, you know, for instance, this is three pictures right here, just minimal changes of my, you know, where I'm looking, what I'm doing. And I like 66. So I'm going to keep 66 and delete these. I already started doing this. So I already took I already deleted a lot of images and I'm keeping the, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> From one look, I have, what? I don't know. I have 25 images. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. So what I do is, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sprinkle these out throughout. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sprinkle these images throughout and whatever. Cause a good picture is a good picture, baby. You know, like, let me just look at these. I mean, I can get rid of, I take so many that, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one right here. 18, I'm not, I'm not applying for my job photo, you know? Although this does give me very job vibes. This is the, these are the images from my fall pumpkin spice look on YouTube that I already did. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it. These are those images. It was evening time when I shot this, hence why the images look darker than usual. But I'm okay with that. I really am. So I'm just highlighting a bunch, pressing space bar on my keyboard, and then I'm moving the, I'm progressing the arrow through. I'm gonna take out 58. I'm gonna take out 47. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take out 58 and 47. They are not my absolute faves. So right click, trash, and just keeping whatever. These are cute, these are cute. Although, mm, I just realized this gap right here, you know, just doesn't make the picture like amazing because there isn't a gap, for instance, here, you see? And this is just what helps me to narrow down the pictures because I have so many. Look at the gap. Mm, it's not my fave. I mean, I can just deal with it, whatever. I'm not someone that's going to go and edit this in again. I don't have that kind of interest or time. It's not that serious for me. The picture is great. It's not about the hair anyway. See, I lightened up the image here and then I kept it dark here. You see the difference? 
I like the brighter image because it looks more like daytime. However, it makes my skin look a lot lighter than it is. I like this image because my skin is deeper. Even the jacket looks deeper. They're both good pictures, but do you see the difference? When I'm taking the shots and when I'm filming, I sometimes have to bring down the, what is it, the ISO? So that, I'm stretching, <laughs> so that like my skin looks the way I want it to look. I'm gonna take this image out, number one. That was the first image I took and I was like, oop, too light. And then I changed it. So let me just get rid of this one. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to all of these. Now, I like to use later to house all of my images that I take, whether it's headshots that I take on my own computer or, excuse me, my own camera or photos that I take with my photographer. So I use later. They need to holler at me and sponsor your kid because I've been using later for a long time. And I've talked about later a lot, but I suppose it has been a while. That's why I'm talking about it right now again to you. So what I did was I had my virtual assistant go through and organize my images for me many, many months ago. And that was a huge help. So I have categories here, which is fantastic. So depending on what I want to post, I come here and look at the categories to see, okay, do I want to post a step-by-step -step shot, a lifestyle home slash bath shot, an athleisure shot, a no makeup skin shot? Do I want to post a lifestyle studio shot, a spring spring fashion looks, makeup head? Listen, makeup headshot slash selfies. I have 986 pictures. Like what in the world? See, because I take so many and I'm like, this is cute, this is cute. And I sprinkle them throughout. Obviously, I'm not going to just post all of them like back to back to back. That's just ridiculous. I like variety. Hello. But this just goes to show you where I organize my pictures through through labels. I label them. It's just very important. So I upload them here and see I have so many different ones. This is not even filter. I can filter it to unused. What's it called? Yeah, unused. And then it'll be less. But anyway, I'm uploading these 21 pictures. I'm going to label them now. Makeup, headshots. That's just what I take. So I won't label, I'm not going to label stuff photo shoot. It's going to be some, it's going to be specific, right? Like morning devotion, lounge wear, whatever. So that when I look at my feed and I'm trying to figure out what picture to put next, I know where to go. So here we are. I like there to be variety, right? So headshot, full body. This is a headshot again, video, something close up. You know, another headshot, full body, headshot, full body, headshot, full body, something specific like a close up, extreme close up is ECU, ECU. We got a mid, we got a full body, but it's, uh, excuse me, like a close up, but it's skin. We have a, we have a product, full body, products, lips, full body, you know, all of this. So I like there to be a variety. So when I come in here and I look and I can see, so we go to the calendar. I can see a preview of my social page right here, which is Fantasimo. And then I can say, all right, what do I want to go next? Now, the thing about it is it's not going to show reels, which is annoying to me later. Please come on, go ahead and give us the ability to see our reels. Just the thumbnail of the reel, because there's clearly a reel right here that is not showing here. Duh, right there, right? Okay, no biggie. I know that it's there. So I know my next picture needs to be a full body for me to create the balance that I like to have. I had a photo shoot yesterday. So I'm actually waiting on the images. It might be in my inbox. Let me go look so I can use one of those because it's I had, I had a lot of full bodies yesterday. I'm going to use one of those to post. But yeah, I go here and it automatically tells me the best times to post. Although I can... Yeah, I need to do it again. Have it what, like recal yeah, recalculate it again to ensure excuse me, to ensure that they're accurate. They're accurate. So yeah, the pink is the best indicates the best times to post. Fantastic. So here are the pictures that I just uploaded, and they're all gonna be in chronological order, but I just go to the filters when I'm looking for a certain picture. So perhaps I'm looking for a fall fashion look picture. Or I'm looking, and I always make sure it's unused, or I'm looking for a spring fashion look picture, or I'm looking for a vacation picture, you know. And I didn't even finish posting all the images from the vacation, but that's okay. <laughs> Ooh, the apps was Abin in the summertime. Look at her. Ew. Yeah, so I miss I miss being on the beach. I do like the beach. Ooh, look at Body. Hi. Look at her. Hello, how are you? Yeah, 
And then you can just filter through here. So I love this. I have, because before I used to just throw all my images in here and it was just a mess. It was hard to find stuff. You gotta keep on loading more and loading more. That's just dumb. Organization is really just, it just is my love. It's my love language to myself to be organized, okay? And you can schedule and post through here for Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, but I just use it for IG. Something is brewing. Something is brewing that I have been keeping a secret for several weeks now. And I'm gonna tell you, because by the time you see this, it'll, already, it'll, it will already be done. Now, it's regarding my car. So I paid off my car, the one that I got a while ago, and my mom desperately needs a vehicle. And we were actually trying to, I, it was my idea, to do a road trip, similar to what we did when I moved here to Houston, to do a road trip so that we could give, I could give her the car so it was gonna be me my sister and mom they were gonna come here and we're gonna road trip back home just for memories a road trip memory because we have memories she and I when we carpooled here when I was driving when I moved here she drove with me and we stayed two. we stayed two nights so one night in New Orleans one night in, in Charlotte and then we came here and it was just a it was it was long but it was a it was a memory that I will never forget. So I was like, let's just road trip it and make memories. It'll be so fun because the three of us are a riot. But time kept going by and going by and it just wasn't working out. And so I knew how desperately she needed the car. And obviously to have it shipped or transported over there would cost a lot of money. But I decided to just do that to get her the car ASAP so that she would not have to wait any longer. So my sister and I talk every single day like three times a day and we planned I, I just planned to send it with her knowing what's going on so that we could surprise my mom so she has no idea she from what she knows we're still planning on planning the road trip and she even mentioned it one time and she was like what about the transport and I was like that costs a lot of money I can't pay for that I can pay for that and I did pay for that but she has no idea she has been struggling with a car and it's just a long story that I'm not gonna be able to get into on the internet but I'm just so blessed to be able to give her mine that is fully paid off it's not an old car I think it's seven years old it's in very good condition I keep my stuff in good condition because I got a new car recently and and I have a car story to tell you about that which is crazy but it all worked out so we'll get into that car story later on but in this vlog though so she has no idea that the car is coming today girl it does need to get some things fixed but i'm gonna get it fixed there i tried my best to get it fixed here but it was just delaying the, the delaying the tent and you know if you if you're trying to surprise somebody with something i get anxious trying to give it to you like it's taking too long for you to have it so i was like you know what we're gonna just get those things fixed there in rhode island but she gotta get that get her hands on that car right now i mean she can still drive it it's still in very good condition it just needs a few tweaks and then it's all good to go so i had it sent and it's there today oh my god just think about the agony of waiting it took four days to get there just the agony the the, the suspense of it all like just the like ah the butterflies of it all and it's there so my sister has to get off work so then she can go pick up my mom make up a story to be like oh mom we got come meet us so and so so and so and then i need you to drive drive something back or like whatever she's gonna make up some kind of story honey and then get her to to uh you know she girl she'll make up some kind of story so i'm just so excited i can't even like finish the story right now so i can't wait for them to go get the car like i'm just so dead about it so get ready because i am gonna make a reel because i want to celebrate my mom she deserves it this is so much to this she deserves it and i'm just in such a position i'm so blessed to be able to help her in this way because if you know you need if you have such a mom because i know that some people have strains with their mother relationships but if you have such a mom then you know that sacrifices and the things that they do for us and I'm not going to cry right now, but I feel like it's coming. So just to be able to do this for her, it's just, it's a big deal. It's a very, very big deal. It's in the store and I can't stand these tags that these companies put on these things. You can't even get them off. I need to, isn't there an easier way to get these tags off? This annoys me. God almighty. Annoyed. I love that I changed the light bulbs in this bathroom to daylight bulbs so that, you know, we get this good tone on this video for instance because originally the light bulbs were 
very warm. All right, I'm switching up the countertop here in the bathroom, the guest bathroom, which is also the Nene's bathroom. I want it to look nice, you know, I got new rugs. The rugs I have are not terrible. They're just not as elevated as I would like for them to be. I have the donation company come in tomorrow. I, I hire them to come quite often because I just need to get rid of things. So I have them come in tomorrow so they can pick up a whole bunch of stuff, clothes, house, just stuff, girl, just stuff. And I'm gonna put these rugs in there for them to take and then put down the new rugs that I got. And I'm taking off the sticker <clears throat> on this really cute lantern. I've been wanting a lantern. I've been seeing these lanterns at Home Goods time and time again. I never got it and I just knew I wanted it. I just didn't know where I was gonna put it. So I decided it's one of them. I got two. One is a little bit taller than this one right here. I'm gonna put this one right here in the bathroom because it's just so cute. The other one, I don't know where it's gonna go. Should I be using Windex? Is that what gets off this stuff? Because it's not working. Although I did spray my tissue. Maybe I should have sprayed the actual, look at this tape. Maybe I should have sprayed the actual thing. I'll show you all this once I've already set it up. <clears throat> but let's see, there was something I wanted to tell you. What did I say I was gonna tell you? Hold on. This is looking real dusty. You've been sitting there for a minute. Hi, right, what's going on? What's going on? On, on, on. <laughs> it's mad windy outside today, yo. You can't wear. I learned a hard lesson. I mean, I already knew this, but because I don't do gloss often, I obviously forgot. But I learned. Should I let it sit a little bit? Let me spray some Windex and just leave it. This is a store brand, obvi. But let me just spray that and leave it there for a second. Maybe that'll help to lift up the glue. So I learned that I, I was reminded of a hard lesson today that on a windy day, when you got long hair on or whatever you got going on, yo, if you know, 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 what? You know, to, you know, oh my God, y'all told me what this, set, what this means too. You know the vibes. Yes, you know the vibes. This smells like luxury i have it here in the bathroom and it's so strong that you could quite possibly choke but i'm all about that i am all about that so i just leave it in here it is so good i can't burn it for too long because it is so strong this thing really does belong in the open area but because of the color i just love it here in the bathroom just love it okay um, because I'm doing Modern Farmhouse and my colors are neutrals with black and gold. I found this. It says fresh and clean. The fresh and so clean, clean. I'm going to change out this white tray because the counter is already white. So this is not working for me any, any longer. <clears throat> and I'm going to put the lantern, which can I wipe this off now? Let's wipe it off now. Dang it. It's still there. How do you get this off? This is annoying. I Maybe mean, someone has done a video on this. How to remove sticker from glass. Sticker residue from glass. Let's see. Oh my. This is actually real eucalyptus from the, oh, I guess it's not it. From the su subscription that I have, I just broke it apart and put some here. How to remove it? Okay. Toothbrush? Wait. Hold on. I'm going to use my toothbrush to do this. <laughs> what do you mean? Peeling off price tags. Yes, it's annoying. Okay, we don't want to scratch the surface. I do have unpress on nails, so don't show me that's gonna take off my nails now. How? Let's go, let's go quickly. What? Paper scraper. Okay, I don't have that. I have used scissors, but that's not. Hot water? Put a few drops of dish detergent into the sink or container full of hot water. Can't do that. I cannot put this whole thing in the sink. Hair dryer? Oh, so the heat will loosen the adhesive. Who has time to be sitting here doing all this? Rubbing alcohol. If you want to know how to get the sticker residue off plastic, wood, or glass, rubbing alcohol is an effective solvent. Vodka is a good substitute. My God, vodka and alcohol. Jesus, lamb. My Lord. Wet a paper towel, rubbing alcohol, and rub and lift off for stubborn stickers. Okay, I do have alcohol. Hang on. 99% isopropyl, isopropyl, iso, what? <laughs> that. Isopropyl, hey, isopropyl, isopro. It is isopropyl, but what I'm saying is, it sounds funny. Isopropyl. <gasps> Yo, the alcohol. 
I just wiped off so much other residue. What? This is what I should have been doing all this time. My God. Yo, comment and let me know if you knew that alcohol was the plug. What? And here we are thinking that Windex is going to do it. Windex ain't going to do it for you. Yo, alcohol took it off like that. I had already peeled it, and then it was Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> The glass that was in the lantern isn't glued to the lantern. And it just broke. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Okay, I cleaned that up. What a tragedy. My goodness gracious. I picked up the big pieces and vacuumed the small pieces. So that a wireless vacuum that I have, girl, please, it comes in handy all the time. We, that's what I do. I don't, I don't even, I almost say I don't broom. <laughs> I don't broom, I don't, I don't sweep. Okay, wowzers. All right, I did buy a towel set. We have a lot of towels, we do white. My husband likes white and actually I like it too. Here, I'm right here. I like it too. You know how like, I, I feel like brown is a very common color. Brown and maroon is a very common color for people's houses. Well, I met my husband, he was very much into white. So all of our sheets are white, our towels are white, and obviously now our couch is white. But I like it. I I like that transition. I just like it. It just feels like a, like a hotel, you know? Now, I'm going to do the hotel thing or just like the whatever thing. Let me change this. What do you call this thing when you, I don't know, whatever, you know, the thing to the thing, okay? And I need to repaint the wall. Knee touches it a lot, so it has lots of hand oil prints and stuff. I keep paint. If any of you live in a house or an apartment, you, my tip is keep the paint of your, the paint color of your walls. Keep the color or the actual paint around and a small paintbrush. My hair is a mess from the wind. So that you can touch up your walls whenever you have stains, either hand print stains, anything. You have children, it don't matter. Even just for adults, you know, we just, from touching, let me, let me, how do I do this? Let me fold, how do I do this? <laughs> let me see, should I fold it? Okay, let me think of how I'm gonna do this. I don't know how to do this, okay? <laughs> so like, you know, any kind of stain, Keep your paint so you can always do touch-ups. I've painted my walls quite a few times. It does not, is this too long? <laughs> you can't see it, but this looks too long. That's his name, hold on. Because if I do the, if I open it up, it's too wide. So you can always touch up your paint, okay? It's such a great trick to just know and just do. You might already do this. Comment and let me know if you're like, girl, we've already been doing that. <laughs> But if you just want to keep your walls looking clean, I've never wiped my walls down, you know, with whatever, what, like Mr. Click, what, what are those things called? Those magic, I almost said magic spoon. I'm so done. I've obviously heard a lot of commercials for magic spoon. So irritated. But I've never wiped down my walls. This is not looking the way I need to look. I've always just painted over areas that looked dingy. I don't like, I don't like the dingy look. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to make this look nice. Now these ain't gonna be towels that we use. This is Nene's bathroom. These ain't gonna be towels that we use. This is for decoration, okay? Excuse me. I don't know, it's looking a little crazy right now. I'm gonna put the hand towel in the middle. But, I need you to see me, this is weird. So yeah, go ahead and keep your paint color, baby. Now, I used to know the paint color, but then I forgot. So I remember I went to Sherman Williams and she, oh! This is not, uh -uh, too light, baby. Here we go, That's a little better, I guess. I went to Sherman Williams' shoe. was trying to match to my wall. Some, some girl, she did what she could. It was okay, she did the best she could. Okay, praise the Lord. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this middle one up in here. These look cute. Need better be putting his sticky fingers on this stuff. I'm trying to make this place look elevated, you know? Just trying to make it look a little decent. Golly. 
You know what I'm saying? You know you have <laughs> you know how growing up you have the living room that no one touches, and then you have the one that you guys touch on, on a daily basis, where the whole house is don't touch. <laughs> All right, I don't think I did this the right way. I think this looks hideous. I don't know, like, cause I have two, I have two, and then I have the one. It's like not doing something for me. And when I open this, when I open up one bath towel all the way, it's far too wide. And this is exactly why I've never done this because I hate when it looks stupid. And right now I feel like it looks dumb. So I'm trying to think back to how hotels, what time is that? I got a meeting at how do hotels do it? Like, I want it to look like a hotel in here. <laughs> you know, like just a little. I just want it to look like a little bit like a hotel. I'm gonna roll up. I'm rolling up a hand towel. Although it's the kind of hand towel that you should not be using. <laughs> you know how you have, again, it's like, this is for decoration. Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't get dumb. You know, don't get dumb and thinking you won't actually touch this. I don't know. That looks kind of cute. I'm going to show you in a second. And I do keep fragrance, like body fragrance up in her. Up in her. Up in her. Okay. I mean, I should put two towels because I have these two right here. These, again, not going to be ones that we use. Don't be coming up in my bathroom and taking these towels to use them. No, ma'am. That is not what it is here for. Okay, I, I don't know. Something ain't going right for me over here. Oh, oh. I don't know why I just started like singing the piano notes. I don't even know. Wow. Okay, and the thing is, and he gonna come in here, he gonna be like moving it, pushing it, this and that, and I refuse. I am determined to still live somewhere nice. He just gonna, he, you know, he catches on easily. I don't play these games, you know? He gonna just know, don't touch. <sighs> what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, let me, let me, let me, I'm sure somebody has put it on Pinterest. Okay, bath, bathroom, towel rack. Yo, people people make videos for every for everything, man. So let me see how folks is doing it in these streets. You know, people be. This is this is the this is this is the beauty of the day and age we live in right now because people teach us how to do everything that we want to do. I like I like I like what I'm seeing. I need stuff like this. That's cute. I mean, I'm not about to put stuff on the walls and things. I like a minimal, minimal farmhouse vibe. That's my thing. Bathroom, t okay, bathroom towel holder ideas. Let's see, is that, oh, let's go. Not me, about to yank my wig off. It was mad windy outside. <laughs> it's like, hold your wig, hold your lace, hold everything because they out here yanking all of our wigs, okay? Oh, this is nice, a towel holder for, but I already have a towel holder for the back of the, the door. I don't need that. Towel, these towel storage ideas are really nice. Do you ever do this? Do you ever be looking at how to do these things, or do you just, do you just have your bathroom like gonna leave it soon when I? Do you just have it just anyhow? I wanted to look nice up in here, man. I feel like, okay, no, I don't want this to be cluttered either. Okay, I don't know. Should I Google how to fold bathroom towels? Oh, how to fold? Somebody has my hand. How to fold bath? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, one of the suggestions was how to fold bathroom towels to hang. See, okay, so you see how, where you at? So, okay, you see how she has it? One, two, three. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, they got it on TikTok. Who's one? Yes, that's what I'm trying to do, though. Like, dang. Or make, oh, they got fancy ways to do this. Oh, hi. Wow, people are really fancy with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, how to fold bathroom towels to hang. We're going to learn this together, baby. If you if you decorate in your house or you just want to know, oh, wow, look at this. This is very interesting. Is there a video? Oh, how are you going to do it to us and tell us? Okay, six minutes. Hi. Visit. I want to visit and see. Wow, she has 254,000 followers. Oh, look at this. I think she's black woman too. Oh, okay, so 
Wow, hey, please. Uh uh, the way she did it, I'm not trying to do all that. That's a lot. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's Michelle. Hi, Hi Michelle. I'm back. Guys, I'm in the middle of a kitchen renovation. I'm so I'm hot right now. I'm so sweating. Spring. What you're going to do is just take a regular bath towel. Her okay? house is nice. You're going Hi. To spread it out and fold it. Did you know that you could fast forward videos you watch? I do it all the time. 1.75. Smooth everything out. Make sure the ends are even. And then just go ahead and start rolling it up tightly. And then the bar. And I have a heavy duty, large rubber band. And I got the rubber bands from the Dollar Tree. The towels are from Home Goods. Okay. So I'm going to take mm. this big rubber band and I'm going to pull the towel up above the bar about six to eight inches. You can do it as much as you want. This is what I like to do because of the space that I have below it. And I'm just going to oh. pop section right to that middle line. Just like that. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to pull back. And I'm basically doing the exact same thing. I'm going to take a bath towel and I'm going to fold it in thirds over each other. Thirds. And then once I fold it lengthwise like this, then I'm going to fold it over again. And I'm going to make sure that the ends are even. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to fold it over again. Fold it over itself again. Okay. Oh. Now I'm going to take a hand towel. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. She showed me. She showed me. Okay, so she brought me. Oh, God, oh my. Ah! This is the bag that has the glass in it. He's worthy, hold on. So I don't have space to show y'all, but she said to do it in thirds. Oh, bless his name. now baby you could put me in a hotel concierge baby because now i know how to do it like that baby oh yeah i got this going on right now i got this going on right now watch hold on let me show you watch y'all gonna want me to come to your house and fold your towels and guess what i'm gonna tell you absolutely not <laughs> ain't gonna work for me and, you know just ain't gonna work you know Holy, 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 what? Come on, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Come on, ride that train. Hey, and ride it. Come on. No, Miss Michelle did not show me how to fold my towels. This is how the two of them are supposed to be. Now she's showing us how to do the hand towel. I'm going to pull down the top section right to that middle line. Just like that. And then I'm gonna put nice also sitting on the sink as a nice mm. temperature towel on the sink. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, put this over the bath towel. So here, put nice also sitting on the sink. Hold on. And I'm gonna pull back one side, the right side, then I'm gonna pull the left side over. That's like how you fold dinner napkins. That's like dinner napkins. Hold on. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna pull back one side, the right side, then I'm gonna pull the left side over on. Just like that. There's words on it. And then Inside out, mine has words on it. And then I'm gonna pull down the top inside out, hold on. Right to that middle line. Uh -huh. Just like that. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna pull back one what? side, the right side, then I'm gonna pull the left ah, side. Like I'm, I have it too fast. <laughs> flip it over. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna pull back one side, the right side, just like that. And you would think I would slow it down, it but I'm not going to. Okay. I'm gonna pull back one side, the right oh. side, then I'm gonna pull the left side over on top, and then flip it over again, and that's it. Oh. This will look nice also sitting on the sink as a nice decorative towel on the sink. Oh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it. Oh. With it. Whoa! 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 Wow! What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, put this over the bath towel. Wow! Sorry, I'm in my guest bathroom. And first yes. I'm going to put the bath towel on. Yes. And the open end is gonna be in the back. Uh huh. Woo! Okay. Let me show you what she just showed me. Well, let me show you what she just showed me. Is my accent right? Let me know in the comments below if my accent is good. I want to get my Jamaican accent to be good. Wow, look at this. That was not, I went to night. No, I got no accent. Look, you can't even talk to me. Miss Michelle is getting me all together. Is that her name? God, what's her name? Bless God, what's her name? Okay, 
Now, without the video, without the video, yo, you can't even talk to me. Ah! Don't even say my name. Like, say my name. Don't even say my name. Wait, what did she say? Hey, Jesus. Okay. We said like this, like this, like this. Okay. Then she said, hey. Okay, she said, okay, she said like this. Then you flip. Let's see, let's see. Like this. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, was it like this? Okay. Uh huh. And like, like this. Wait, is it like this? Oh, wait. Now, like I said, I need to touch up the paint. We got some hand oil stains, all this like, ugh. but what? You cannot, yo, comment and let me know if I did a good job. Comment and let me know if I did a good job because I know I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already know what are you even telling me, but oh, it's time for my phone call. I can't do it. Oh, bless his name. I can't do it. Okay. And then I have these rugs. Let me put these rugs down real quick. And then I'm done so. Hold on. What am I doing? Okay. how this came out now I do keep <laughs> toilet flush wipes in here so this blue is just a little bit of an eyesore I want to put another toilet troll we call it toilet troll paper towel, whatever you call it over here but it'll be off level and the off levelness of it would drive me insane so I've just left it I know I'm that person and here we have look at here's the the, <laughs> the cloth I was telling you about the one that's not to be used it's here for decoration I mean I could go without but I do feel like this just does something for here. I got this from Home Goods today. And this Home Goods is Amazon. This is Nest. So good. I have a fragrance in here because why not? Fragrance yourself before you leave my bathroom. Praise the Lord. And this chapstick, just this chapstick is here because of me. I'm always telling him to put on chapstick. And I call it chapstick. I know. So I have one here. We have chapstick everywhere. Okay. On the living room coffee table in my studio in the bathroom is everywhere because I'm always like put on chapstick, put on chapstick, put on chapstick. Now lips are dry, put it on. Ah, good. Now because we already established that this is for decoration, <laughs> this is the actual uh, hand towel we use to dry our hands because uh, hello, and that's me. Hi. This is a daily affirmation for me, which we don't do it every single day. I need to, but this is really great. He is to read this after we brush his teeth you know just really important i thought about getting color coordinated things for these but i don't like the idea of dispensing these into those containers not to, because you're gonna have leftover product in these containers and to me that is so wasteful i just okay i just cannot i cannot imagine Pouring this out and then leaving so much lined, lining the, the whole container and then putting in the trash. It's just so wasteful. So I just try to buy neutral colors. We got this orange, but whatever. It's okay. And he needs electric toothbrush and a plug-in. Even though I got a candle, I still got a plug-in because it's important. Okay. And then here's this. And here's the rug that I got. So there are two of them because they didn't have one long one, but this fits literally perfectly. Okay. Wall to wall. And it is so soft. What in the world? And this is Nini's stool, so he can stand up and reach the sink. <laughs> but yeah, this is the bathroom now. I'm really pleased. It's really simple. It's white, a little bit of neutrals. I wish I had, now I wish I had black. Now I wish I had gotten the black lantern because there is a black lantern. Oh my goodness. When I'm at, what's it called it again, I will more than likely get the black one and then put this one elsewhere because I just need more black here, you know? 
So yeah, I love it. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Comment and let me know what you think about it.